Mom. Shh. What'd you say? Stop doing that. Doing what? Tapping that skull. Shh. What? Just make less noise. I never said a word. What are you doing anyway? The Ishkel Fossa. Where's that? In the ear? No, it's up the. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> Do you know? I'll never re relearn all this stuff. It's amazing how much anatomy you can forget. Yeah, look at him. Panic's on. <laughs> hey, there's Dick. What's he doing here? I've never known him visit the library before. Oh, he sometimes comes in for a sleep. Or to chat up a bird. He's carrying books. Never. Dick! Shh! <laughs> look, uh, what are you doing here? Selling books. What about you two? We're working. On what? Primary fellowship exam. That's years away. It's only a couple of months away. And we intend to pass it. The pass rate is less than 9%. It's a complete waste of time. Thank you. Everyone that went in for it last year at St. Swithin's failed. Except Emerson. He's a bigger creep than Bingham. Yeah, well, we failed last time because of the anatomy. That's why we're doing anatomy. Well, oh, please yourselves. I'm glad I'm not going in for it. Have you got any interesting anatomy books there? Here! This is mine! Oh, I thought you'd thrown it out. Let's have a look. This is mine as well. Oh, hey, my dad gave me this one. Oh, is it? Oh, did it? Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. My mistake. Sorry. Oh, this one's Bingham. It doesn't matter. Look, no, will you try to film all these? Of course not. I came in here to see so that you could check them to see which were yours. Yeah, right, but it's easy to tell which ones are mine. They're the ones with Paul Collier written inside them. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go and grab a cup of coffee. Good idea. Here, yeah, this is Briddick, Cecil, and Lewis. He accused me of stealing that two years ago. I gave him two quid to shut him up. Oh, you had it all the time. Oh, shut up. Yes, I think we can do these. Who are all those people with the lofters? I believe they're the new board of governors. Lofters is showing them around. Do you know, none of them have ever been in a hospital before. Yeah, Marvellous, isn't it? A hospital board that knows nothing about hospitals. I don't know. Look at Dick. He's a doctor. He knows nothing about medicine. <laughs> Hey, Mike, you know we were talking about that other creep, Emerson, who passed his anatomy last year? Yeah? Well, it was about this time last year he took a job as an anatomy demonstrator. Yeah, that's how he passed. Well, that's good. Why don't we try that? Well, I've tried looking for a list, but nobody seems to know about it. I mean, that would really suit us. Oh. Trouble is, they usually only have two jobs going, so I can't see us both getting in on it. The thing to do is, if you can find the list, to cross a few names off before it's taken down, that narrows the competition a bit. That's not fair. Well, maybe Dick's right. I mean, survival of the sneakiest. Well, as long as you don't cross my name off, I'm going to have a look to see if the list is up. Good idea. I say, they've got those creamy cakes in again. <laughs> so I see. Uh, heard about Loftus, Dick? Hmm? No. Yes, his divorce came through at last. Really? What? What? Buffett's divorce? Oh, yes. Yeah. Good Lord. You've got to hand it to him, you know. I mean, his divorce came through yesterday, and today he announced his engagement to Nurse Willard. No. Oh, yes, he's invited me to the wedding. I said, will you, will you excuse me one moment? Thank you. <laughs> you better go and stop him quick. No, no, I want to watch this. Thank you very much. Indeed. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What is it, Bingham? I'd just like to say how happy I am for you, sir. <laughs> in one way. Of course, it's bound to be very sad for you both in another, but I'm sure it's worked out for the best, so many, many congratulations. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I'm sorry about your divorce, sir. Divorce? <laughs> yes, well, it's probably for the best. Anyway, here's wishing you all the best and happiness for the future with Nurse Willett. Nurse who? <laughs> Fancy you not telling anybody, eh? <laughs> I, what did I you say? I assure you all. He was too overcome with emotion. Oh, well, he would be. <laughs> <laughs> that was very cruel, very funny. Loftus' his face from here. I must have, Mike. Mike, did he... Here's the list for the anatomy jobs. Great, listen, Mike. I've just must... seen Bingham pull this list out, out of his pocket and sneakily pin it on the board. It's due to be taken down in five minutes. What, a rotten list? Quick, get your name down. Yes. I'll wring his neck. Oh, I see the money's gone up. Money? What money? The money you get for demonstrating. You mean to say you get paid for doing it? Oh, yes, you get four pounds a session for demonstrating and five pounds an hour for lecturing. Hey, give me that, will you? You're not interested in anatomy. The money, dear boy, the money, it's the answer to my overdraft. <laughs> You're not taking a fellowship. There are people that need to take anatomy. There are people that need money. Yeah. Well, there are only two vacancies. I tell you what, let's cross everyone else's name off so that it's just between us three. We could cross Bingham's off. Oh, there's the porter. I'll give him the list. Yeah. Porter, uh, here's the anatomy list. Uh, just a minute. Uh, Come on, Paul. Bingham's in the library. Come on, what are we going to do? <laughs> OK. 
Okay, do, do your stuff. Um, perhaps we could discuss those books you'd like to buy over a quick coffee? I've been on the list. That's why nobody could put their names down. Um, would you give us a hand? He's over there. Hello there. <laughs> the anatomy list, Bingham. What? Oh, yes. Um... Oh, no. Now, perhaps, we can have a look at the library. It's the most interesting history behind it. <laughs> What's that? Bingham's clothes. <laughs> and here we have the library, which was built in 1842, when they accidentally discovered the remains of a Roman bath site. <laughs> the remains... The remains of which, incidentally, can still be found in the vaults beneath this room. Now, here's a statue of our founder, Sir Gordon Oscar. He wasn't a surgeon. He was a rich brewer who founded the hospital in the 16th century, as you may have heard, to deal with, a, to deal with an outbreak of venereal disease which closely followed the discovery of America. <laughs> now, this is really one of the most uh, fascinating rooms in the hospital. The surround of the fireplace is by Matthew Bolton, and it has some remarkable... Uh, the surround of the fireplace isn't all that interesting. On the other hand, the beams are quite, um, quite, um, 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 fascinating. Get out. <laughs> but the beams are firmly, firmly made of, of, um, of, um, of, um, wood. Yeah, yes, it's quite remarkable how they managed to get out. How they managed, how they managed to stay up there. Perhaps we ought to go to the chapel and look at the windows and dreams. Oh, I would like to look at that fireplace. Yes, well, well, actually, it's not that good. And, and, and anyway, some of it's being cleaned at the moment. <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, look, if you care to walk this way, uh, perhaps we could look at a rather interesting window in the hall. Uh, would you care to lead on, Bishop? Yes, this way, isn't it? Oh, oh, yes, yes, indeed, right. thank you. Thank you. Who's that? Who's in there? Bingham! Hello there. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Doing? It may have escaped your notice, Bingham, that this is a library and not a sort of art. <laughs> and while we're at it, what the hell do you mean by spreading lies about my being divorced? Lies? Lies! If I may explain to you... Lies! <laughs> oh, how'd it go, Mike? Fine. I said I'd like a job as an anatomy demonstrator, and we just chatted. Had they asked me anything to do with anatomy? Oh, good. You didn't bother with this, then? Yeah. They seemed to like the idea that I wanted to do anatomy demonstrating in order to get through my fellowship. Really? Think I'll use that line. Well, you're not taking a fellowship. So? Well... Nervous, Paul? No. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> I reckon you stand a pretty good chance, Mike. Oh, we all do. Well, two of us, anyway. Ooh, especially me. After all, I did win the surgery prize last year, you know. I don't think you'll get the job, Lawrence. Just wait and see, Collier. What you did with that list wasn't very nice, you know. Hmm? You took that list down. Yes, I did. So that nobody else could put their names on. Certainly not. I completely forgot to put it back up again, that's all. Well, I crossed your name off the list. <laughs> <laughs> what? I crossed your name off the list because you, you kept it to the last minute. How dare you? It's your own fault. But I... You tried to prevent everybody else from getting the job. You deserve to lose it yourself. Yes, I quite agree. But now, you started it. Oh! <laughs> well done, Paul. I didn't know you'd done that. Well, I feel pretty bad about it. Oh, don't be daft. I tell you, that was the best thing to do, crossing people's names off the list. <laughs> Especially certain people who shouldn't be there on the first place. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you approve of that? Oh, yes, all's fair and all that. <laughs> Good. Because I crossed your name off as well. Did what? You did what?
Hi. Did you hear that? That's the first time he's spoken to us in three weeks. Hey, Mike, I've just heard there are a right pair of ravers in that new lot of students. <laughs> we'll be all right there, junior lecturers, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still a bit worried about actually having to teach the students. No bother. Well, how much of the anatomy do you remember? It'll all come back. Mm. If you're so worried, why did you take the job in the first place? <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fiddliest. <laughs> Mike, all we've got to do in the, is make a good impression on the first couple of days and we'll be all right. Yeah, we've still got to actually teach the well, students. Well, if we have any problems, we turn the lecture around to sex. I know a lot about that. <laughs> anyway, it'll help pull the birds. Yeah, look, we'd better go. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Don't be so gloomy, Mike. Think of the money. Bye, Dick. Think of the money. <laughs> They've gone off and left me, then? Hmm? Mm. Yes. Mm. Do you know, I should be doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, after all, I did win the surgery prize last year. I should be doing one of those jobs. <laughs> so should I. They crossed our names off the list. <laughs> After you'd hidden it for a couple of weeks. Look, I tried to explain Oh, it. leave off. Well, there are a couple of smart Alex Collier and Upton. I don't care if they are friends of yours, Dick, but really. Yes, they are a bit full of themselves, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Junior lecturers, pulling birds, and the monks. Yes, and now they'll have a better chance on the anatomy paper than me, just because they've got it so easy. <laughs> they needn't have. What? They needn't have it easy. We could make it very difficult for those two. We? How do you mean? We could do something to knock the cockiness out of those two. Oh, yes, we could. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> what? <laughs> we could put sugar in their beds. <laughs> we used to do that at school. <laughs> now, I was thinking of something a little more subtle. It makes all the sheets go all sticky when you put it in. All right. <laughs> I've got it. What? Get all your anatomy books together. All I've only got two. Do you know somebody stole them? Did they? <laughs> Never mind, I know where we can find some. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to see how little Messrs Upton and Collier know about anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that's all you need to know about that subject. Uh, any questions? No? Right, uh, Gillian, would you see me in the preparation room afterwards? There are one or two points of this particular part of the anatomy I'd like to go over with you. Oh, Gillian! <laughs> that's not Gillian, that's George. What? It's a male skeleton. Is it? Yes, it's obvious. Look at the pelvis. Long section of a short cone. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. And the muscle attachments are obvious. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look, what are you doing smoking a pipe? You don't usually smoke a pipe. Well, I do sometimes. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, it'll help keep down the smell of formalin. <laughs> oh, quite. Look, who's going to do the lecture this afternoon? Oh, we'll toss for it. OK. Um, greater trochanter up, I do it. Greater trochanter down, you do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, who won? Uh, it's up. I won. I won. Oh, all right, then. Oh, here they come. Look, right. you take that and I'll take this. Morning. Morning, sir. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> right, sir. You can smoke if you like, but don't use the body's mouths as ashtrays. <laughs> Carry on from where you left off, and uh, any questions, just ask us. All right? Everything all right? Yes, sir. Yes, good. You, um... All right? What? I was wondering if you had um, any questions. No. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, are you? Yes, sir. Oh, good. <coughs> Don't appear to need us. Well, I told you it was cushy. She's all right. Yes. Just wait till she asks me a question. I'll give you the right answer. <laughs> oh, sir. Yes? Yeah? Sir, the superior ramus of the oculomotor nerve. Uh, what? I, I can't find it in the orbital fissure. Well, carry on looking. Sir, huh? where's the aryepiglottic fold? Uh, I'm just thinking of somebody else at the moment, so... Mike, Mike, what do you know about the superior ramus of the oculomotor nerve? What? Who asked you that? He did. It's a bit advanced for a first year, isn't That's it? what I thought. What do you know about it? Luscious French tarts sit naked in anticipation. Oh, where? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, luscious, lacrimal, French frontal, tarts... Are clear. Got it. Ooh, I think we'll get the subject round to sex. Sir? Yes? Where's the aryepiglottic fold? In the larynx. Well, we know that, but where in the larynx? Oh, um, well, it's, it's a small fold of membrane be between the, um, between the, uh... Between the what? Ah, the epiglottis and the arytenoid muscle. Uh, c cartilage. No, bone. Yes, that's it. It's a... Uh... Fold of membrane between the epiglottis and the arytenoid bone. Thank you. I think. 
the uh, second intercostal nerve. Hmm. The second, mm. yes. Yeah. Do you know the interesting thing about the axilla is that it extends into the mammary. <laughs> now the breast, especially the female breast... Is, is it a... constant or not? What, the breast? No, 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 the nerve. <laughs> well, some say it is and some say it isn't. Well, what do you say? What do I say? I'll be back in a minute. Phew, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a bright lot. You're right? telling me. Well, the arytenoid Sir, is... the locus coeruleum. Yes? Is there any connection between this and a high copper content in the form of caroloplasmin? What part of the body are you working on? The leg, sir. Well, why are you asking questions about the brain? Locus coeruleum is as rare as hen's teeth. Look, it seems to me that some of you are paying too much attention to parts of the body that we haven't even dissected yet. I mean, only a, f a few days ago you didn't know the difference between a hand and a foot, and now you're... So, Carry on, Dr. Upton. You seem to have the undivided attention of the whole room, including Dr. Collier. Do carry on. Um, where was I? You were talking about the difference between a hand and a foot. Fascinating. Uh, no, no, I wasn't. You were about to answer a question, sir. No, no, no I wasn't. I, I was asked a question, a particularly difficult question, that I, that I was unable to answer. But you're here to answer the difficult questions as well as the easy ones. Yeah, well, it was obscure, sir. I used to be Professor of Anatomy here, and I can assure you it's a wonderful subject. Every question has an answer. Now, what was the question? Is there any connection between the locus coeruleum and a high copper content in the form of caroloplasmin? <laughs> And you can't answer that? No, sir. Well, I'm certainly not going to answer for you. Look it up. <laughs> Very good question, my dear. Keep it up. <laughs> Phase one seems to have worked all right. <laughs> the students said Upton and Collier were beautifully hopeless, and that Coruleum question even floored Loftus. <laughs> well, I hope Loftus doesn't find out it was us. Hey, what are you doing? Spraying the board with wax. They'll never be able to write on this. <laughs> <laughs> I say, where did you get these slides? Huh? Amsterdam. But they're a bit, uh, the... illegal, aren't they? Nonsense, it's all anatomy. <laughs> Cause a riot when Upton shows them in his lecture. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make him work for his five pounds an hour. <laughs> Good heavens, look at this one. Yeah. Holding it upside down. <laughs> well, I still can't follow it. Upton does good diagrams, doesn't he? Yeah. Do you know, Dick, I used to be awfully good at diagrams. <laughs> Come here! Now put those down and control yourself. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Dick. Now listen, I'm listening. If we put this desk at the edge of the desk, at the slightest touch, it'll fall off! <laughs> It must be because they do elementary medicine in the sixth form. They think they know it all. Well, they don't. Well, neither do we. If I get asked one more stupid question, it's a bunch of fives they'll get. Well, don't worry. I'm only going to answer questions relevant to my lecture. Yeah. I've arranged the diagrams and the slides, and so that I won't have to say too much, I've booked a film on portal hypertension. They won't know anything about that. No, no. Will you do the slides for me? Yeah, sure. Mike, what's portal hypertension? Oh, dear. Come on. <laughs> Good afternoon. Now, I um, met you all this morning for the first time. <laughs> and before I start my lecture, I'd like to say that I will not tolerate irrelevant questions being asked. Nor am I impressed by people who are asking me questions which they already know the answers. Now, this afternoon, I'm going to talk about the portal system of veins. Now, these veins correspond to the unpaired visceral branches of the abdominal aorta. <laughs> the visceral branches of the abdominal aorta. And they terminate in the portal vein, which goes to the liver and breaks up into capillaries, as you should know from your histology. Now, the finer structure of the liver looks rather like this. <laughs> Uh, well, the, the portal cap is, um, <laughs> now the, the liver lobules, uh, uh, well, I, I've got a slide of that, I'll show it to you later. Anyway, it's not that important. Our main consideration is the portal system as a whole. 
Now, I, I've done a diagram here, which I'd like you all to copy down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, I've taken a great deal of trouble and effort with the details, and I... <laughs> Very funny. Well, it seems that you all feel that we don't need to see my diagram of the portal system. Wasn't you, was it? Of course it wasn't. You, you, you seem to know so much about it. Describe the portal venous system. Come on. I, I can't, sir. Speak up. I, I, I... No? Well, maybe you can tell me the tributaries of the portal vein. No? Not even one? Do you know where the portal vein is? In the abdomen, sir? In the abdomen. Well done. Now, you, you were the one that knew all about the locus coeruleum this morning, so perhaps you can tell me the tributaries. I can't, sir. No? Can anybody? Hmm, I thought so. <laughs> God, is looking so worried because he knows less than Upton does and he's got to do it all tomorrow. <laughs> is there anything else we can do today? Uh, now, <laughs> here we have the preparation room. Uh, God, it's on... Loftus. I better go and stop them before they do the slides. No, 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 please. You can't stop it before the slides. <laughs> okay, we've got a little bit of time, but I can't let them show that film. L Loftus mustn't see the film. Yes! Look, they deserve it. They deserve it. <laughs> I think we'll have a look at some slides now. Ready, Dr. Collier? Yes. Fine. First slide, please. Now, that's the drawing of the uh, system, which you'll all be doing for me, so we'll skip that and pass on to the liver. Next slide, please. <laughs> oh, um, wrong slide. Could you find the right one, please, Paul? <laughs> ah, now, that shows the lobular structure of the liver, and in the enlargement of this, we shall probably see large deposits of fat. Next slide, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Well, there's obviously no point in continuing with the slides. I was going to show you a film, but no doubt that would turn out to be the sweet sins of sexy Susan. I'm sorry. I it's all right, it's this lot. Uh, maybe we ought to show the film in case it is the sweet sins of sexy Susan. <laughs> OK, you, you've all had your little joke. Impossible questions this morning, and now this. I, I don't want to know who is responsible. I just want to know if that's it, or do we have to put up with this every day? Uh, sir, uh, we didn't rig up your slides or change your diagram. I suppose you didn't ask the questions, either. Well, in a way, we, we, we were told to ask them, as you're new to anatomy demonstrating. Who told you? Two other doctors. Who? I don't know their names, but one was tall and fair, and the other smallish. And rat-like. Bingo. It's your girl. Mike! Oh, you get it! Oh, you're a spoiled sport. Mike, I wouldn't show the film if I were you. You! I wasn't going to anyway. Now look, Dick! Quits now, OK? Quit? Oh, a joke, sir. Jo you made a complete fool of me in front of all these students. Maybe because you couldn't answer the questions. <laughs> anatomy demonstration. Oh, uh, Mike, how about doing a little surface anatomy? No, I want to get this straight. Uh, Mike, a little surface anatomy? <laughs> oh, um, yes, a good idea. Uh, listen, everybody, I I'd like your cooperation. Your yeah, Grace, this is the anatomy lecture theatre, so if you just enter quietly and stand to one side so as not to interrupt the lecturer's flow. <laughs> You know, a lot of students regard anatomy as a rather boring subject, but here at St. Swithin's, we try to make it a little more interesting. <laughs> now, I'd like you all to try to find the natal cleft. <laughs> 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 